welcome back. So this video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me and um, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to answer questions, well not answer questions but for me to sit here and tell you a little bit about me. First of all I want to note that next door I'll be little bastards and banging so if you hear any banging over my voice and over the music then you know who it is. So I've got a couple of palettes laid out in front of me and I'm just going to do a natural glammy eye. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do something simple while I talk to you. So I've got Giorgio Armani on the face and um, Mary Luminaza highlight and just a cheap ass bronzer. So I'm loving how it turned out. Got my hat on because I've just had my hair cut, but I'm growing my hair out so it looks a bit shit at the minute. So yeah, let's get into this. This is my mirror. I really need like a little mirror. So first up, I'm gonna prime my eyes as I normally do. So, where to begin? Obviously, you guys know, if not by now, that I am in fact gay. 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 If you didn't know that, how? I came out when I was 17 to my mother, drunk, in the back of the car, holding my then boyfriend's hand. So gross. Coming out was pretty easy. Every, everyone knew, but like, it wasn't really a secret. Coming out to my dad was a little bit harder. Well, not harder. I came out to him when I was drunk as well. <laughs> My life is just one big drunk mess. But yeah, I came out to both of them when I was drunk. And yeah. My dad took it quite well. I didn't think he would, but he actually he, he took it quite well. Um he just basically said, well I hope I'm still getting grandkids. <laughs> so one of the facts about me is that I am obsessed with Rihanna, if you didn't already know, I absolutely adore Rihanna. Um, I have done since I was, how old was I? About 14 years old, which was when she was just starting out with Bondi Replay. And I've literally just, grew, basically just grown up with her. Um, and seeing her evolve for what she's become, which is a fucking global superstar. And anyone that denies that she is amazing and talented is deserves a punch to the throat. This is so hard to do in like a little shitty mirror. <laughs> so I have a few best friends. I do. I really do pride myself on my friends. It's one thing that I am big upon. I don't necessarily like. I don't come across as a caring person, and I don't. It, it's just. It's just me, really. I've just. I've always cared, but it's always taken me a lot to care. Um, but as soon as like anyone says anything negative towards me, like I'll just start like, bawling my eyes out. So my YouTube. Um, began um, a couple of months ago now. Um, I, I don't know. I just I, I've always I wanted to do it for a long time, but I've only just like got in, started getting into it. Um, and it's Nikki Tutorials' fault and Jacqueline Hills. Them two are my main people that I look towards and like strive towards being like is Nikki Tutorials and Jacqueline Hill. Um obviously Jeffree Star and stuff. I love I love him as well. But yeah. Jacqueline Hill and Nikki Tutorials are my favourites because they're just so uh, fucking talented. Everyone's talented. There's no right or wrong way to do makeup. Obviously if it looks like shit then you know um, which is mad. Mine always looks like shit but you know. Every time I see like a video of theirs, I, I, I'm just like, oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, I haven't ever done makeup. I've always 
like I've just watched it from them. Like whenever they've uploaded a video, I've just like studied what they're doing and then just gone from there. Um, Cause I, I've, I've never studied maker. I've only ever studied what they've obviously done. So it just shows that they are doing a good job because they're teaching people like me who has no background in maker. Literally, I've never studied a class, I've never took a course, I've literally just followed what they've shown me, what they've said, and it's literally just gone from there, and here I am sat here talking to YouTube about Maker. And yeah, that's basically it. I really enjoyed art in school, but back then it wasn't as acceptable to like, like I found it hard to, I don't know, I, like, I never wore makeup in school obviously because I don't know, like it wasn't something I could do because I got bullied a lot in school about like obviously being gay um, and like being fat and stuff and I've always struggled with my weight um, literally throughout my whole life, like my brother used to call me fat and gay and people at school used to call me fat and gay and it's just been like this massive circle, like vicious circle kind of thing of me coming to terms with who I am, accepting myself and <sighs> pretty boring but that's, it is what it is Um, obviously, yeah like I used to get held up with buying knuckle dusters like in the school hallway, like I don't understand how or why, but they just used to th like assume things of me and just hold me up. Like I don't understand why it's so weird. Like it's so funny. Like looking back, but it's just like why? <laughs> it's like what the hell? So yeah, Rihanna's Fenty Beauty line is coming in September, and I'm so excited. Like. I break my bank all the time when I'm like Rihanna and stuff. It's just, ugh. And I've obviously got the same title as her. I've got loads of other titles the same as her. And ugh, it's just a vicious circle, really. <laughs> but she's just amazing. Like, who didn't love Rihanna? Like, I haven't met her yet. That is something I really want to do is meet her, as everyone does. But, um, yeah. I am striving towards doing that one day. So another thing about me is I have vitiligo. Don't know if you can see that. Um, coming to terms with that was fairly hard. Yeah, coming to terms with vitiligo was pretty hard. Um, just purely because I didn't know what was going on with it. Like, obviously, I was looking at my skin and it started on my fingers and I was like, what's going on here? Like. Why is it just, you know, disappearing? So it kind of like scared me a little bit because I didn't know what was going on. Um, but then I went to the doctors and they basically said it was vitiligo. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. But yeah, I went to doctors and they said it was vitiligo. So I was like, uh, really? What's that? And then obviously, when I found out I'd, and I was doing research about it and I found Winnie Harlow and I think anyone who's got vitiligo looks at Winnie Harlow as like their role model um, because she obviously, if you don't know, she's a... Uh, I think she's African American um, and she went on RuPaul's Drag Race and She's just amazing. She's absolutely amazing, like her confidence with it and everything like that. So she obviously became everyone's like everyone's mod like favourite model and um, Vitalago model and stuff really. But she is so amazing, like so I came on here and was like, I'm gonna talk to you about loads of stuff. About my life, about this, about that, and I literally do, just don't know. Do you know like I should have made a list really? It was kind of like last minute. One thing I do need to work on is my eyeliner because I still can't do eyeliner for the life of me. I think it's because my eyes are so hooded. So it's like, 
I can't do it. And when I try and do it, it's like a hot mess. Like, I try, I just can't even cut I don't like that brush. So I am going to try and do it maybe after this video. I'm sorry if you can see my um, brush, it, um, my mirror, by the way. I don't want to look like I've got a black eye. I've just realised that I've had spaghetti juice on my fingers throughout the whole entire video. It's too late to turn back now. I probably should have cut my crease before putting this on, but it's too late now. So I work at McDonald's and I haven't told you. Um, and it's a job, but I hate it. Like, it's probably the worst thing ever. Like, it's not the worst thing ever, but I don't like it. Because obviously it's not what I want to do. So that's why I took up hairdressing, just so I could like... Well, I've always wanted to do hairdressing, so that's why I started doing it. And I think that's why I also hate working there. But yeah, obviously doing makeup and YouTube and stuff has helped like to not care as much because it just takes my mind off it. Look at that. This is the um, Jouer Skinny Dip Palette by the way. But as you can see, it's amazing. So I know I'm off, I get a lot of stick like on YouTube and stuff but Literally, I've, I've found nothing but love for the brand um, and I don't know why, like obviously it's the curves and people say like that they hate, it, they hate it and stuff but I love it. I can't remember what the first um, makeup product I bought was, I think it was the um, I think it was, oh, what was it? Well, it was tinted moisturizer for one. And then the, the, what was the first one? I can't remember what the first foundation I was. Oh yeah, I can. The first foundation that I ever bought was Too Faced Balmless Wear. This mascara is literally bomb as fuck. It's uh, the L'Oreal Paradise. I was gonna wear falsies, but I don't think I'm gonna. And I don't have any black eyeliner. See, my makeup game is so shit. Like, I think it's good, but it's not. Oh, that's looking pretty good to me. So I'm feeling pretty tired. So for highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Primark one that I reviewed a while ago and I'm gonna use the white one because mm -hmm. and I, I think I'm gonna mix them actually with the white and the pink so for lips I don't know what I want to put on mm. I'm looking into the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette and I don't know what I want to go with. Okay, I, I was gonna go with this pink one, but I think I'm gonna go with this nudie pink. I really should have primed my lips as well, but because they're feeling a little bit dry. So I've actually had my lips done uh, three times, if you haven't already guessed. Well, you were, I guess, the three times, but I've had them done. Um, because I didn't really have, I've always had a fat bottom lip, but I've never really had a top lip. Um, and it's literally the best decision I've ever had in my life. But it wasn't really painless because the numb you. Um, so you don't really feel anything. But it's just literally one of the best things ever. I always misjudge this and I always use them way too much. <laughs> Definitely should have primed my lips because they are the fit. This feels quite dry and they are really dry, but it looks okay. So guys, that is my get ready with me um, ish uh, look, natural look. I was gonna put some false lashes on, but I don't think I'm gonna. I think I really like how it's turned out. 
Okay guys, that's the get ready with me slash chit chat. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not really sure if I've like give you any informa good information about me apart from the fact that I was Rihanna. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to know anything, let me know in the comments section below. Follow me wherever you want. Subscribe and hit that like button. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. It's delicious.